folks, this is Desiree from Maybe I'm Medicated. I have another jewelry haul to do for you guys. I decided to split them up into two videos because this haul has about 34 pieces just from one seller. I like to buy in bulk from sellers to save on shipping, especially when they have really low prices and have really great pieces. I got some really fun stuff, so... Without further ado, let's get started. This first one is this Lucite bangle. It's a little beat up, but um, if you saw how much these went for originally, for perf uh, pristine condition, you'll understand why I picked this one up. This one is in not so great shape, but it's beautiful. Um, it'll go with my other Lucite peacock bangle, so I'll be able to wear one on each wrist now instead of just on one, and I'm really excited about that because I love being able to create complete looks. This is just a simple wooden bangle. It's in pretty good shape. I love, look at that wood grain. How lovely is that? I love wood. I love wooden pieces. Is that bangle metal wood? <laughs> I'm showing my age. This I thought was gray, but this seller doesn't clean up their stuff because some people like the patina. Um, but also when you're a seller, you risk ruining vintage pieces when you try to clean them. So um, I was also testing for Bakelite when I clean too because I want to be careful when I'm cleaning them. Um, this is not Bakelite even though it has no seams. Um, that's a telltale sign of Bakelite. It's just a simple plastic bangle in white. This would have been awesome to stack with my other black bangles. Um, but that's pretty simple. This is just the rhinestone, colored rhinestone gold bracelet. I mean, it's pretty and it's simple. Um, I'm sure I'll get a lot of use out of it and a lot of looks. Very pretty. Catches the light beautifully. Just a gorgeous piece. This is another one I had to clean up. It is a reddish orange, depending on the light. Um, just another simple plastic bangle. I was looking for more primary colored bangles to add to, to be able to stack. So... That'll be very pretty. And then this one is probably my favorite of all the bracelets. Um, it's this Clonase. I think I said that right. I I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Um, butterfly, almost Art Nouveau style bracelet. Um, it is the type that, uh, with the latch, that you push down and it pulls apart. And then you just push it back together. And the the details are really pretty. I definitely get a lot of wear out of this one. Very, very pretty. Alright. Next is the, just not regular bangles, but just uh, um, tennis style bracelets. This is another rhinestones. Everyone knows that I am a junkie for rhinestones. Okay, I played around with it. And hopefully it will focus now. There we go. How pretty. Just simple rhinestones, and the rhinestones are in col like a black, um, like that's a black rhinestone, and then it's like a silvery. Oh, look at that one. Oh, pretty. It needs a good cleaning, but otherwise it's in really good shape. This is just another uh, rhinestone tennis bracelet. Very simple, but very pretty, and gold tone. Will go great with some of my rhinestone brooches that I've purchased recently and that I have in my collection. Next, on to the brooches. I ordered a lot of brooches from this person. So let's get started on those. Butterfly brooch, just simple rhinestones. I don't, it doesn't really look that vintage, but it definitely has the, you know, the vintage style rhinestones in the shape. In the setting, but the back kind of makes me wonder. Very pretty, simple, elegant. Here's a flower, a little rose, and two tone gold and silver, which I like because I like to be able to try and mix my metals. This is a parrot. Um, this one I wasn't too satisfied with only because. Um, it wasn't disclosed in the listing that there were rhinestones missing from the face. Um, and the seller was really great. They did refund me for this piece um, just because it wasn't disclosed. And I might actually hold on to it anyway and have it sent out 
Um, I found a couple places that repair, um, like, the paint and stuff. So I might actually pay to have it fixed because it's very pretty and it just needs about three rhinestones and some paint touch-ups. I'm not a big keen heart person, but remember those heart earrings from my last haul video? How great would these look with that? So I'm thinking I'm going to create a look, a jewelry look with this pin and those, those earrings. Simple pearl gold tone brooch. Very pretty textured, if it'll focus. Come on, focus. There we go. Just simple and pretty. This um, stone, you can't really tell, is a ruby color. It's got the foam marcasite in gold. Um, I used to be a VFW Junior Girls member, so when I saw this, I was like, okay, I need that pin. Um, I actually used to go to VFW Junior Girl meetings, and they used to have fundraisers where they would sell a um, whole bunch of stuff, and they would also sell vintage costume jewelry, and that's actually where I got a lot of my pieces back then. I was about 12 or probably about 12 years old, and I was always like, oh, jewelry, even then, even then. Here's a little car. That's really cute. If it will focus. Little vintage car. How adorable. Broom, broom, broom. He's doing wheelies. <laughs> Not quite so vintage, but still pretty nonetheless. Little pink rhinestones. Flower brooch. More butterflies because, you know, I like butterflies. And I loved how it had, like, different colored rhinestones. This one is one I'm going to fix up um, because it's actually missing some paint, which I could probably just fix with some simple acrylic paint. This is like an abalone shell. Very cute. Rhinestone circle. Pretty simple. So this one I think you could wear two ways. And that's why I picked it up because I could see... I already have a shirt picked out for this, um... I'm going to sneeze. Uh, I don't want to sneeze. I actually have an outfit picked out for this, but instead of wearing it like this, I'm thinking I'm going to flip it over. Let me fix this. And wear it like that. Yeah, I like it like that better. Cute little... Wee. I love fun little brooches. This is a Sarah Coventry. Um, I think there's there's pieces missing out of it. This like right here. These should have rhinestones in it. But I'm I actually got this to um play with for a different look. Um, it's got little rhinestones. My nah, focus. Oh, it doesn't want to focus. Anyway, it's got little rhinestones in the little holes, and it's missing some of the, you know, it's missing some of it, like, right through here. So, that's kind of sucks, but that's okay. I'll figure out something to do with it. Here, start with the chain necklaces. This was cool. It's kind of like a crest. And it's on a really long chain. Th very thick chain. Like, very thick. 
this I actually have a necklace that I want to pair it with and do like a layered look. I try to buy pieces that I already have pieces that will go with it to create complete looks. As you can see, there's some tarnishment on the back, but you get that with vintage jewelry that's not real gold or metal. Beaded jewelry. These are all the necklaces, the beaded necklaces now. So I occasionally like to find really funky necklaces, and this is one of them. They're like little fish and uh, these cool little things. It's all wood, little fish. Just really fun. Not quite sure what I'll wear it with yet, but I'm sure I'll find something to do with it. Wooden, uh, these are the wooden beads. Um, my dog is snoring, so if you hear that, that's my dog, Missy, my beagle. She's quite the snorer. These are kind of interesting little beads, the way they're shaped. Another little beaded wooden necklace. Here's another one. These beads are actually painted. They're actually gold wood beads. Cool. But I liked it. I like wooden necklaces because you can pair them with like not wood, like um, just regular stones or what regular beaded necklaces or jewelry and create really unique layered looks. Or you can go completely bohemian and create something interesting that way too. This was funky. Um, it's a little short, but I'll add a connector chain. I have a very thick neck. That woman has no neck. If you know what movie that's from, 10 points for you. But it kind of reminds me of Mentos. <laughs> Steven kept wanting to say, oh, I want to put these ones in my mouth. He has a thing with wanting to put certain types of bead textures in his mouth. I don't I don't know what that's about. But <laughs> more power to him. I love the two-tone look, which means I have a, a scarf that I want to pair this with and do like a nautical look. It's very cute. I have a gold version of this one, but not the balls aren't quite so big. Um, I cleaned it up, and now it's like really like sparkly and pretty, and it's got um, a chain chain attaching it. So it's it's a pretty weighty beaded necklace, quite lovely. All right, only three more to go. This one, oh, I love 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 love. So, you know those beaded, those ornaments that have, like, the the thread on them? Well, here's a necklace like that. And I don't know the actual technical name for them. But, isn't that just beautiful? Like, how lovely is that? It gives a lot of rich texture and definition. And it will definitely be one of my favorite ones to wear because it just catches the light so beautifully two more this I'll pair with that little VFW pin for 4th of July these little red white and blue pin uh, beads perfect and last but not least my favorite color is pink but this is more of a magenta but they still work they're quite large it's quite heavy necklace but totally 80s, gold and pink. How fun. Will definitely be fun to wear. And that's it. So I have 34 pieces now to add to my collection on top of the other pieces I have to add to my collection. So I need a bigger jewelry box <laughs> and a better way to display my jewelry. So um, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.